Judo and wrestling are both highly respected grappling arts that have a long history of competition and development. While they share some similarities, there are also significant differences between the two. Let's explore the key aspects of each martial art and compare them in the context of a hypothetical battle between judo and wrestling. 1. Origins and Styles Judo Judo originated in Japan and was founded by Jigoro Kano in the late 19th century. It is primarily a defensive martial art that emphasizes using an opponent's energy against them. Judo practitioners focus on throws, pins, and submissions. Wrestling Wrestling has ancient origins and is found in various forms across many cultures. It is a combat sport that involves grappling techniques such as takedowns, throws, pins, and controlling holds. Different styles of wrestling exist worldwide, including freestyle, Greco-Roman, and folk style. 2. Techniques Judo Judo techniques primarily involve using an opponent's momentum and balance to execute throws and takedowns. It emphasizes the use of leverage, timing, and precise technique rather than relying on brute strength alone. Judo practitioners also learn groundwork techniques, including pins, chokes, and joint locks. Wrestling Wrestling techniques involve a wide range of takedowns, throws, and controlling holds. Wrestlers aim to overpower their opponents using strength, agility, and technique. While groundwork is important in wrestling, the emphasis is often on maintaining control and gaining points rather than seeking submissions. 3. Rules and Scoring Judo In competitive judo, points are awarded for successfully throwing an opponent onto their back, pinning them to the ground, or applying a submission hold. Matches can be won by achieving a successful epon, a full-point throw or submission, or by accumulating smaller scores. Wrestling Wrestling matches are scored based on takedowns, throws, exposure of an opponent's back to the mat, and controlling holds. Points are awarded for executing these techniques, and the wrestler with the most points at the end of the match wins. In some styles of wrestling, pinning an opponent's shoulders to the mat for a specific duration also results in an immediate victory. 4. Training and Conditioning Judo Judo training focuses on developing balance, coordination, timing, and explosive power. Practitioners spend considerable time practicing throws, falling techniques, and groundwork. Strength and conditioning training are also essential components of judo training. Wrestling Wrestling training involves developing strength, speed, agility, and endurance. Wrestlers engage in intense drills to improve takedowns, throws, and mat control. Strength training, cardiovascular conditioning, and weight management are crucial for success in wrestling. 5. Strategies Judo Judo practitioners often aim to disrupt an opponent's balance and use their own momentum against them. They may employ feints and setups to create opportunities for throws and submissions. Judo practitioners excel at close quarters combat and are skilled at utilizing the clinch. Wrestling Wrestlers focus on achieving takedowns and controlling their opponents on the mat. They employ various techniques to off-balance their opponents, including shooting for single or double-leg takedowns and executing throws. Wrestlers also develop defensive skills to prevent being taken down. In a hypothetical battle between judo and wrestling practitioners, the outcome would depend on several factors, including the skill level, physical attributes, and strategy of the individuals involved. Judo's emphasis on balance, leverage, and submissions could give it an advantage in certain situations, especially if the fight goes to the ground. However, wrestling's focus on controlling and dominating opponents through takedowns and mat control could be advantageous in terms of scoring points and maintaining dominance throughout the match. Ultimately, it's important to recognize that both judo and wrestling are highly effective grappling arts and the outcome of a battle between practitioners of these styles would heavily depend on the specific circumstances and the individual skills of the competitors.